elephant, zebra, monkey, lion, and giraffe in the church. Okay? Uh, a couple months ago, I told you guys said he was sending the animals. Sending the animals. And I, I can understand that we start thinking that these are untrained, these are wild animals. Amen. I've received whatever. Amen. But watch what God showed me. Rhino, tough skin. Tough skin. You're not going to have baby Christians coming in. You're going to have people that are coming in that have been wounded and hurt, but your skin is so tough you can't penetrate to the, to the, the parts that you need to get to. But he can. Tough skin. The elephant is going to deal with the mind. The mind of an elephant. The mind of attention. He's going to deal with the mind. He's going to deal with the issues of the mind. Zebra, interracial, not just one kind. Interracial, black and white. Mixed together. The culmination of all colors and the absence of color. All coming together. All coming together. A monkey. Very limber. Family oriented. Family pods. Family pods. He's going to deal with the mischievousness in our spirit. The lion, which is the king of kings. The king of the jungle. The king of the animals. The one that's very territorial, he's going to deal with that. He's going to deal with territories. He's going to deal with the people that think that they're above everybody else. And he's going to deal with those particular individuals in their mind. He'll get to his heart that way. The giraffe, the giraffe sees above, has the neck that's long enough to oversee, to see certain things. He's going to deal with the people that come in that have a pride issue, that always want to be seen. Always want to be seen. Always wants to see things differently. Always want to be noticed. These animals are coming. But guess what I see also? Is it in this that God is sending people in a desert place? It said the church in the desert. And in that desert is where we're dry. Is where we're dry. In the sending is also the breaking of the water that releases and that we will begin to feel, feel God's presence even stronger in the lives of these people. That's even here in the church today. Today. They're going to continue to come. And if we keep on having visions and dreams, write them down, please. I know God is speaking to a church. I know He is. As He continues to speak to a church, we have to have ears to hear. We've got to listen. We've got to be sensitive to know what He's doing. Because now we can miss it. Amen? Amen. Send the animals. Send the animals. And if they're here, we receive them. I'm one of them. I'm an animal. Amen? Amen. All right. Children's. Children's. Children. Um, who's going to the nursery in the back? We got children for, uh, with Miss Kathy. More children. Who's going? Are you going or are you staying? Then, parents, if you will, I need to get um, volunteers for the nursery. I know sometimes we, we can get kind of you know, long-winded, blaming on me, and you know, that's fine. Um, 